Hi friends, welcome to Artist Tree Studio. In today's project, we're going to be making thank you cards for our healthcare professionals. Our doctors and nurses and other healthcare workers are working extremely hard right now to help us fight the coronavirus and we want to share our gratitude with them by making them some power pictures to show them how cool and amazing that they are. For today's project, you're going to need a paper, a pencil, some coloring tools, which I'm going to recommend watercolors for today's project if you have them, but anything will work. If you have watercolors, please try to find a drinking straw. It can make our project really fun, but you don't have to have it. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a glue stick and a marker or a Sharpie. I am looking forward to creating with you guys today, so let's get started. Imagining a world creatively with artistry. Today's element of art is color, and our principle of design is balance. So let's talk about those just a little bit. In today's project, we're going to be creating a doctor who is fighting some germs. And let's talk about color. So in this project, I've used greens for the germs, but then if you look closely, you can see these little dots are on the outside. They have orange and red and yellow. I wanted to create a bit of um, contrast. And to do that, I used cool colors for the germs and then warm colors for their little tubular things that are sticking out. So warm colors are red, yellow, and orange, and cool are green, purple, and blue. You can see on the color wheel here, the warm colors are on this side and the cool colors are on this side. Now, yellow green and red violet are kind of in the middle. So depending on your picture, they might be warm or cool. You can kind of choose on those two colors. So that kind of adds some interest to this picture um, using the contrast of warm and cool. In this picture, I also wanted to talk about balance. So it's very important in our art that it feel balanced and grounded. And that can happen in a, a variety of different ways. Um, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different types of balance. This first picture, the balance is triangular. So a triangle balance, you can see the girl and her mom make a sort of triangle together. Here is a cross balance. So you can see the mouse makes one axis and the rocks make another axis. They build, they build a cross, which adds some balance to the picture. With the fish, we see circular balance. S or compound curve can be seen in this kind of simple landscape. Steel yard or asymmetrical is when one side of the picture has something to anchor it, something very strong and heavy, and the other side has something small. And this creates a sense of balance. Here we have symmetrical in contrast where everything kind of lines up. One side to the other is exactly the same kind of balance. A radiating line is uh, where something central has like lots of lines coming out from it or an L shape can also add some balance to your picture. Something tall on one side and then long along the bottom. In today's picture, we're going to be using asymmetrical balance. So the germs will be big in the top corner over here and the doctor is going to be smaller on the side. So you can see this picture has asymmetrical balance. All right, let's get started on our art. First, we'll draw a doctor. I'll show you how to draw a woman and a man. You can choose which you want to do. Doctors from all over the world are fighting this virus, so be sure to make your doctor diverse. I've pre-drawn the two pictures to speed up the process, but I'll take you through step-by-step -step directions. Let's start with the woman. First, you're going to draw a circle, elongated, kind of like an oval, and that will be her head. Okay, and then about halfway down the circle, you're gonna have this line where the mask is. So I want you to go ahead and very lightly draw a line straight across. You can erase and kind of make it curved in more detail in a minute. And then pick a spot at the bottom of the circle and draw a line going this way for the other side of the mask. All right, we're gonna connect all of these, kind of give them a bit more rounded of an edge. You're gonna curve over this cheek and then down and then up to the nose and then down and then up to the ear. 
The mask might have a couple of wrinkles in the side and a band that goes over the ear, which is here in the middle. All right, right above these two indentions, we're going to put her eyes. And a little line showing where her nose goes into the mask. All right, we want our doctors to be a bit fierce, so her eyebrows are gonna tilt down towards the nose a bit. And a lot of times when people draw a head, they draw the hair up here at the top, but I want you to notice, you can even go look in the mirror, our hairline actually starts partway down our forehead. So on this female, I'm gonna give her a, a bun hairdo. So I'm gonna start about here on my page. I'm going to curl this hair to her ear and then down to the back of her head. Going the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna curl down and around. And then you notice the oval is about here. The hair poofs above the skull. So we're gonna make that hair poof up a bit. That gives it a bit more body and makes it more interesting. All right, and then poof out a little here. I'm gonna draw a nice big bun right there. And I like to draw a little spiral hole on it. And then we're gonna curve back around the outside. Okay, that's her head. She'll have a little chin line. You know, I think I made my mask a little too low, so I'm gonna raise it just a hair. Okay and then her neck will come down. All right, so now you're gonna have her body. And if I were you, I would start with a really simple rectangle, and then you can build from there. Do you see that rectangle? All right, so in the middle of the rectangle, you're gonna have a V. That's where her um, doctor's coat comes down. And then the line going down this, it's not quite in the center. It's off center a bit because she's facing that way. So you want less of it to be shown here and more of her coat to be shown on this side. And her shoulders going out either direction, just a little bit. So you've kind of got this Y shape and then these lines sticking out. All right, let's go ahead and draw this shield because it's kind of in front of her body a little bit. So you're gonna draw like a long U shape that's stretched out. It's a bit higher on this side and lower on this side. And then pick a point in the middle of that down lower and you're gonna connect each side to that point to make the shield. On that shield, we're gonna have a cross, like a red cross. So, have a line going across there and down. It's not gonna go straight up and down, it's gonna curve with the shield a bit. All right, this point is a bit lower than this one. Going up, across, and up. This one being a little bit closer to the edge there, see? All right, if you wanted to, you could draw across like this and then draw around it. If that helps you, you can do that. Okay, so the shield is blocking her arm, which is back here holding it up. We can draw the rest of her body. Her coat would come down this way. And let's see, let's go ahead and do this arm over here. So you have a shoulder line coming in. See how this goes out? We're gonna go in the other way. That's for the shoulder. And then you're gonna have two parallel lines, like an 11 going off to the side over here. That's her arm. And then an 11 coming down. That's her sleeve, her forearm. And then connect with a slightly curved line down there. Okay, and then we'll draw a little bit of her coat. You're gonna stop here because in this spot, we're gonna have a nice big sword. Let's draw her sword first and then we'll draw her hand. So um, about a centimeter below the edge of her shirt here, you're going to draw the sword's hilt. You can leave a gap for where her fingers are gonna be. All right, and then her, the sword is gonna go out this way to a point and back out nice kind of curved wishbone shape. And then it has a small line down the center. All right, so let's get her hand. Her thumb goes to the side here. So you'll draw a line from the sleeve down to the hilt and then another little line that doesn't go all the way to the sleeve. And then from the top of that line, you're gonna curve down and around. So it's like a backward C. And then each finger from here on is a backwards L, kind of a curved, 
backwards L. You're gonna do four fingers, three that are about the same size and one that only goes about halfway down. All right, you've drawn a hand drawing a hilt and that's pretty challenging, so congratulations. Let's draw the stethoscope. So on this side, you'll see a straight line and then a circle with a smaller circle. And then it wraps around her neck, but we can't see that part. And it comes over here, drops down, splits into an upside down Y. And then you'll notice when doctors aren't wearing their stethoscopes, they kind of curl. So they curve to the side and they have a little earbud. And then they curve to the other side and an earbud. And then she has buttons down her coat. And if you haven't yet, you can draw the bottom of the coat going off the page. If you need to, you can practice this on a piece of paper, and then when you get it just like you like it, you can trace it. You can take your picture to a window and then tape a new piece of paper on top of it, and you should be able to see your drawing through the window, and you can trace the clean lines that you like, the way that you like it. I erase some of my extra pencil lines, and she is done. Oh, little shirt poking out there. Okay, so that's the female. The male doctor is pretty similar. So I'm just gonna point out the differences and then I'll draw quietly. The head is basically the same, just hairstyle will be different. And all men have different hairstyles, so pick and choose what you want. But I've just got mine going, wiggling across. I think this guy might be redhead. And his hair is a bit curly. All right. The rest of the head is basically the same. You have the triangle here for the mask that curves up and down. The eyes. Fierce brows, cheek, chin. Okay, this part, it changes a bit. So we've got a collared shirt for the male doctor. So you're gonna draw a teeny line coming out from the neck and then it's gonna go inward. You're basically gonna have a V shape right here. Go ahead and draw that. All right, now from this point, you come down a little bit. And from this point, you come down a little bit. And then you connect those two lines. All right, let's try that again over here. So you've got this line as part of the V and then coming from here, you have a little line coming out, and from here, you have a little line coming out, and they curve in the opposite direction from the other ones, and then those lines connect. All right, coming straight down from that shirt, you've got an 11, making his button down center of his shirt, and a couple of buttons, and you'll see a hint of his buttoned up shirt before you get the lab coat. Okay. So you've got that Y with the two lines coming out. And let's go ahead and draw his big shield. And the cross. His shoulder comes in and down for his arm here and then over this way. So it's 11 again, and then you've got that little shoulder line. And then you've got the 11 going this way for the bottom part of the arm and the curve there. Okay, then we have this side of his shirt. Let's go ahead and do that sword. So we have the hilt. You can go ahead and draw that. Leave a little gap for his hand. Buttons going down. All right, let's draw the sword. and his hand. Remember you curve down and then little backwards L's. One, two, three, and four. All right, and his lab coat is a little bit straighter. Hers is a little bit more curved. But there you have a basic male and female doctor. Feel free to um, embellish those a bit and make them fun.
this is the fun part. Now we get to create those germs. So I get my watercolors pretty wet. I think I'm gonna make these germs green. A light green and a dark green and maybe a medium green. Okay, now uh, one of the one thing about balance is it's good to have uh, odd numbers. So we're going to have three germs. I'm going to start with the darkest one up in the corner. So what you're going to do is get a good amount of paint on your paintbrush and put a nice big dot of it at the top of your paper up here. It makes kind of a bit of a puddle. And then if you have a drinking straw, you can aim it in different directions and blow. Cool. I ran out of paint, so I'm gonna add some more paint to the middle. I'm gonna blow the other direction. Maybe just a little bit more. Cool. If you don't have a straw, you can try blowing just with your mouth. Just try to make a concentrated stream. All right. So that's that. Let's make the other two splats. All right, now we have our three splats for our germs. We're gonna let those dry for a minute, and while they are drying, we're going to create the eyes for those little germs. So you can grab just a piece of scrap paper. You don't need very much, a little piece is fine. You're gonna draw a variety of circles. They can be different sizes and shapes. I'm gonna draw a tall, skinny one, kind of round one. And you can put dots. They don't have to be looking in the same direction. These germs are confused because the doctors are really getting them. This one's gonna be kind of goopy shaped. Maybe a really tiny eye. I'm using Sharpies, but you can use really any kind of drawing device for this. All right, those look confused and funky. And then you wanna cut those out. Okay, now we can set these aside and use them in a little bit. I'm gonna put them on the scrap of paper so they don't get lost. All right, next we're going to add some more details to our germs. I think I'm gonna call these tentacles. So you're gonna take a Sharpie or a marker or a pencil, whatever you have on hand, and you're gonna add a few lines coming out from the center with a little circle on the end and they can curl they can come out straight just put a few all the way around and you can even add a circle at the end of one of your lines of paint if you want one or two And then we're gonna color those in with warm colors. So yellow, orange, red. All 
And finally, we're going to glue on the eyes. All right, that's finished. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our project today. I'd like to take a second to show you some of the awesome art challenges that we had submitted this week. Weren't those amazing? I'm so glad you're participating in our site and sharing your pictures with us. And speaking of sharing your pictures with us, please, if you finish the project for today, don't forget to share it with all of your healthcare professional friends by sharing it on Facebook um, or any other site that you might find some of those friends. Also, if you wouldn't mind sending a picture to my email, artisttreetemple at gmail.com or you can just post a picture to the Facebook page. Here is the Facebook address. Thank you again. Oh, and finally, I'd like to say thank you also to Ruth Ann Nevue, who is the composer of our beautiful intro and outro music, and to the ta talented Chad Garza, who put together the animation for Artist Tree Studio. So thanks, and keep on creating. Mm -hmm.